Only For Me, written by Michelle Derrick, illustrated by Nicole McKenzie. These are my eyes, so sparkly and bright, for seeing and blinking and closing at night. This is my mouth, very handy you see, for talking and eating and smiling with glee. These are my hands with fingers so long for holding and counting and clapping to song. These are my feet as strong as can be for walking and dancing and holding up me. This is my tummy, it's so very cool. It grumbles and rumbles and loves to be full. This is my bottom and bits that we. They're very private and only for me. They have proper names that are good to use. That way no one gets confused. Girls have a vulva and a vagina. Boys have a penis and testicles. Now no one can touch or make me show. And if they try, I must say no. No one's to look or take a photo. The answer's still no, 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 no. And even if my clothes are there, and definitely when my body is bare, and even if they say it's a game, and even if their bottom's the same, and even if they give me treats or gifts. And it's not okay if they show me theirs because bottoms are private and not to be shared. Not even in photos or on the TV, not in computers or in a movie. And I can say no whenever I like if someone's touch doesn't feel right. It might be a kiss or maybe a snuggle or stroking my body when having a cuddle. How can my body tell me that something doesn't feel right? I might get butterflies in my tummy. I might feel the need to go to the toilet. I might get sweaty or sticky palms, wobbly or jelly legs, stuck or heavy feet, feeling sick or a racing heart. And I can say no to a he or a she, a stranger, a friend or my family. I can say no if they're cool, clever, sweet or kind. It just does not matter. Now, if someone did the wrong thing to me, it's not a secret. It just can't be. And no matter what they say to me, nothing terrible will come to be. What is a safe secret? A safe secret will never be about my body. And safe secrets are not secrets forever. For I'm not the one who's been bad and keeping quiet will make me sad. So I'm not in trouble, but I must tell an adult that I can trust. Write down the names of five adults you could trust on each of the fingers below. One, two, three, four, five. Or maybe you can put a little photo of them so that you can remember who the important five people are. And don't worry if you're not sure who you can talk to because a kids' helpline can always help. You can call them at any time in the day or night. Hmm, but what happens next? Now that adult's job is to help set me free from the bad things happening to me. First, they should make sure that it ends, then take me to someone to help me mend. But if that person doesn't know what they must do, it's okay, I just need to tell someone new. <laughs>